Have you ever drawn something from real life before? Something that's actually sitting right in front of you? Not just a picture or something you found on the internet. That's called still life. And that's exactly what our artist today, Mary Jane Orr, does in all of her paintings. The things that you see in her paintings are objects that you can find in her home. Let's see if I zoom up really closely on this painting, if you can tell what object she was painting. It's tricky. Let's try. What is the first thing you notice about this painting? For me, it's all the bright colors. Mary Jane Orr said that her main focus in her paintings is her use of color. She said she always wants to paint something that makes people feel happy. She never wants to make anything that makes people feel sad. This particular painting took her 180 hours. Have you figured out what this is yet? Maybe we can figure it out if I zoomed out a bit. Look, it's glass bottles. It takes a lot of layers of paint and time to make something that intricate. Speaking of intricate details, let's zoom in at the top there and see what she used for the background. Look at all those straight lines. Do you think you could draw lines that straight? Now that we've looked at the piece up close and far away, what would you name it? The piece is called Kaleidoscope for all the colors. This next piece is made by Mary Jane Orr as well. It's not quite as bright, but still just as happy. Can you tell what she's painting? It's a little easier, isn't it? It's seashells. Let's zoom out and look at the whole thing. These are actually shells that she picked up herself, but not off the beach. She went and dove into the water for these. I bet that was a lot of fun. Do you have any objects in your home that you would like to paint or draw now? Go ahead and do that and put your pictures below. It doesn't have to be as complicated or take as many hours as Mary Jane Orr's paintings do. Just a quick sketch every day will help your skills. I'll see you next time.